etc. It is important that we should finally hear the words of apology come from Kiev and Lviv for the massacre in the Volyn, and it is equally important that we should be conscious in Poland of the fact that Poles, however commanded by Soviet agents, murdered Ukrainians in Poland and conducted the operation Vistula. It is also important for us to recognize that Lviv was just a beautiful Polish city and that there is nothing wrong in cherishing the memory of Poles who died defending, defending it, also by those who may hopefully one day stand to make the town the intellectual and political center of Ukrainian patriotism. The willingness to cooperate in the future will help us reflect on the past and forgive the sins. They should be for the best. The vague undertakings behind the odessa brody pipeline and the buyout of Huta Częstochowa to the Donbass Industrial Complex, treated as a past prototo, have a common denominator in the form of the Russian hand. Making the pipeline operational with the transport of the Caspian oil is perceived by the Russians as contradictory to their interests and so they do everything possible to block the project. At the sidelines of privatizing the Polish steelworks through the bite of the Donbass consortium, consortium are the once again vague ties between Ukrainian company and among others the Russian Gazprom. The strategic concern between Kiev and Warsaw concerning the containment of Russian influences in our countries could lay the foundation for the rational evaluation of the both projects. The Donbass Industrial Complex, although a large business entity, is not the only enterprise in Ukraine which might want to invest in Poland. It is certain that with a degree of goodwill, partners which do not raise any doubts can be found and as such will be met with friendly welcome in Poland as representing the best on the Ukrainian economic independence. By the, by the way, this is not for the international financial institution, institution to judge it. This reference to the most current event and disputes between our countries should illustrate well the thesis that it is principally the vision and the common understanding of the goal that we need practical realization of joint undertakings will thus be significantly less straining and the decisions taken will, necess will necessarily be better understood by the public opinion both in Ukraine as well as in Poland. Thank you very much for this a bit too long. <laughs> Thanks. Um, a, question, a question for both of you, please, about domestic politics. Um, Mr. Tadashuk, would you comment or even uh, favor us with a prediction about the coming election in, uh, at the end of the year and um, where, um, where uh, Kushma will land, any parliamentary changes uh, you think might happen and how that would, would affect um, integration? And, um, Mr. Uh, Naimsky, excellent um, discussion or presentation. Um, could you say something about the um, um, this SLD uh, split, evidently? And um, I just recently heard of this. I'm very interested, if, if you would, and um, what uh, that will mean, particularly in, in both these situations, the short-term implications. Um, with, with the SLB, that especially the implications regarding um, relations with the European Union. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> well, as to the the election, uh, the outcome of Ukraine of uh, election presidential elections in Ukraine this uh, coming October. 31st. The short answer 